Hey guys, what is up? It's Demon, and today we are going to be once again watching the Mentally Advanced series. And I am currently in the middle of pulling the video up. I'm sorry. Um, now it's in downloads. La 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 la. We are up to episode four. Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, this one's 11 minutes long. Okay, then. The other one, like, one of them was also 11 minutes long. I'm sorry. I just legitimately dove right into this without even caring. It is the middle of the day, and I'm not sick tired anymore. I'm not sick anymore at all. I'm perfectly fine. Now I'm just tired because, you know, it's sun. Sun is hitting my face right now, and it's hot, and it's warm. And even Hershey himself is just sitting there doing whatever, and... I, I, I'm gonna watch the ponies because I, I can't really, um, though I'm, though I'm tired, I don't really want to go to sleep, and the book that I was reading, I was starting to get a little bored with it, because, you know, you reach that weird stage where it's like, you know, you just need to put it down after a while and listen to some music or something, and I didn't have any good songs to listen to, so we're gonna watch the Mentally Advanced series because it's really funny and I need to watch it, so, um, let's just get started. I'm sorry, the intro is really crappy, but three, two, one, go. My little ponies, my little ponies. Ah, uh, okay, let's keep this part. It is not my favorite. <laughs> I kind of want him to sing like a full version of the I'm theme song. The oh. Ah! oh, great, I think I've been... Captured by the town retards. A shame to bit. What did they say? Well, I'm a bit rusty, but I'm pretty sure they just told you that they really liked your hair. Oh. Wait a minute, are you sure? She looks fabulous. Aww. What exactly is going on? First Bubblegum Dancer was standing here, and then I stood next to her, and then some other pony stood next to me, and now like the whole town is here. Oh my god, something's happening. Oh hey, it's a magic pony. When I was just a film, oh. both my parents were drama actors. But one day after a show, a horrible critic came and met my family in a dark alley. There, disgruntled by my parents' mediocre, mediocre performance, he took a rock, and he smashed both their heads in. Jesus. Yay! From that day forward, I declared eternal vengeance on all drama critics everywhere. I've decided to follow in my parents' stupid, non-lucrative footsteps. Good now, for you. I travel the world putting on fantastic shows, so I can root out horrible critics who dislike drama and punish them for their terrible crime. So is this like the whole show? Yes. No! Oh. So what exactly is the show? Okay, I really love Peter Pan on Ice, so huh? I'm going to do a parody of Peter Pan on Ice, but every character is Darth Vader. That's the hook. But because I love the awesome. show, I really want to stay true to the characters. So I'm going to be holding open auditions to look for people who are exactly like Peter Pan if he were Darth Vader. None of this, I'm a good actor, but I only sound kind of like Peter Pan, who is Darth Vader. I get exactly Alrighty. like the character. Okay. Well, that's just plump stupid. <laughs> also, everyone gets to write. I think it well, sounds fabulous. Just stupider. Cons on it, I could single hoofedly be more entertaining than that. Okay, granted, yeah, it might be true, but this is not friendship. That's the issue that I have here. Okay. Okay. Get off the stage, you're wrecking my show! Well, I think that your show totally and completely sucks. No, uh you suck! <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I'm suck, cool. You suck. You suck. You check you me suck, out. You suck. You do suck! You suck times infinity! You both suck! Spike, please stop encouraging them. I hate drama. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> My feet are tired. I want to go home. Take me home. <laughs> Spike, what the heck, man? Would you chill out already? I'll buy you some ice cream. You! Why did you bring a baby to my show? Who, me? There's always He's one. Not exactly your everyday typical baby. He's really much smarter than that. Why do you keep interacting with the audience so much? Because I'm a drama genius. She's just trying to get noticed. I'll give you a fat lip! What do you think you know about drama? Well, nothing much, really, because I wasn't in the drama club when I was in high school. Mm. I was far, far, far too busy getting laid by cute athletic cults. Whoa. Uh, I got laid in high school. Well, I sure didn't. Oh. It doesn't count if I was in the drama club. I once dated a guy in the marching band. Oh. Well, okay, but was he cute? Well, I thought he was cute at the time. 
Well, fine, I guess that counts. Okay. The guy in the drama club was cute, too. Gal, are you sure you want to be on stage for this kind of discussion? What? Yeah, why? Don't y'all think that that's maybe just a bit personal? No. No. Hey, I think the show is still boring. What did I tell you? You still both suck! Gal, <laughs> hey, watch it, your horn is pointy. Spike, what exactly has gotten into you? Are you trying to make me look like an ass here? So hey, when do you think your show will be ready to go? Because actually, I want to help out. Now, I do a really awesome Darth Tinkerbell. Fine. Mm. Okay, okay, give me a second, let me show you. Oh dear. Okay, what do you think? Am I in? Wow. Well, it wasn't quite what I imagined for the part. But okay. So excuse okay. me, whatever your name is. Trixie. Way to be flexible. Oh wait, shoot, did I forget that part? Oh, that was important. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh da -da -da -da, parents, da -da -da -da, rock, da -da -da -da, vengeance, da -da -da -da. uh oh right, here we are. I am the great. I am the powerful. I am Trixie. I am the great and powerful Trixie. All right. Great. I've been thinking, and it sounds as though you suck with at least two boys. In high school. And frankly, that's two more than Twilight has ever had, so Aww. I guess you win. Leg ear, log of potatoes, or for set Sam may look or on shoulders. Nun panieren sie die schnitzel. Yes, I am the best. That, that was a thing. <laughs> that was a beautiful thing. Hey, you guys want to hear something weird? Not really. So a long time ago, I got this really bad rash. I think it was oh. ringworm or something. And anyway, so that's when I bought this cape so I could cover up the ringworm. What? Uh, I forgot where I was going with that, but the ringworm's gone now. Smart. Smart. Ew. What? Das traditionelle Wiener Schnitzel wird immer mit Kaufleisten. Not a chance. Stroskops Müller over. Oh, click out smart it. I'll be honest. Those are some crazy dreams. Right the hell out. Leave. Wenn der Inte Bro für die Nintendo. Und mit einer Zitronenscheibe servieren. Now what are you two up to? Wir brauchen eine flachen Schüssel. Your what? Die Schnitzel kalt abspülen, trocken tupfen und leicht klopfen uh, und mehrmals an den Rändern leicht einschneiden. I hate to break it to you, but that play's gonna be a flop. The premise is stupid. Not to mention the leadership. Natürlich funktioniert dieses Rezept auch mit Schweineschnitzel. Oh, Let dear. me break it down so you can understand. Yani Gavaru Paruski. Smarter got to snap so salt. Look, I know what it's like to want to be in a performance. When I was littler, Twilight put on a show about brushing your teeth for her school. I thought that was really amazing that everyone could get together and sing like that, and I wanted to try it too. But you know what they told me? They told me, nice bike, you're Twilight's slaves, and slaves don't get to sing in the school play. Well. Now clean up these books! Yikes. That's a yes. Twilight, why was it that you never let me sing in your school plays? I don't know, why aren't you in bed yet? Because I've stayed up making a list of perfectly good reasons why I should have been in those plays when you are just a little one. Well, you know what I think? I think I've had enough of your pissy little attitude today. Oh. Go to bed. Aww. Well, you can't just tell me to go to bed. Where's the sport in that? Go to bed or I will turn you inside out. Ew. I'm not going to bed and you can't make me. I'm going for a walk. I'll, I'll show Twilight. Twilight. I'll stay up all night and feel like, like pissed tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, what are you Smart. running around at night? It's the weirdest thing. Why do I feel hungry after talking to them? Okay. What? Oh, please don't tell me you guys have figured out I'll do anything for a buck. Ew. Ah. Wait, two cups of flour? Are you guys crazy? Do you know what that'll do to my arteries? Ew. But seriously, I'm asking, is that bad for you? Yes. I read too much flour, it's bad for you. Well, it doesn't make it very <laughs> Twilight! Uh, Space okay. Bear! Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear disobedient dragons who aren't in bed. But there's a freaking space bear! Oh my god, this is the worst day. 
What? You idiots! What gave you the impression that I would find this kind of thing attractive? Dann mit etwas mehr Knoblauch einreiben. Nay, you're throwing me hard while the Earl of Snuff, so the behoves in them. Oh, I, I guess I can't argue with that. <laughs> Zuerst im Mail wenden. Platt, dass die Uta noch hell übergraden. Oh my god, the hell's going on? Zuerst im Mail wenden. Set four mini Uden noch gerade in Tim. I'm sorry. Oh my god. No, I'm not really sorry. But I know that you guys expect an apology, so if I just pretend to be sorry, then this will all probably just go away. Go on, Twilight. Use that magic that Celestia taught you. Okay, what's next on the list of Celestia's homework? Celestia says now Spike gets facial hair. Typical. Do it. Celestia's training is terrible. Yeah. Well, just use that magic that she forbade you from studying. No. You mean, the spell that could kill everyone? The one you decided to study anyway without any help or guidance. You know, I cannot believe how patient this space bear is being. Yeah. He's get a lollipop or something. He's like the villains from an anime. A magical girl anime. Wow, Twilight, that was amazing. Although, for some reason, I can't really remember what exactly you did. It was something illegal involving space-time. Well, nice. I think we've all learned something important about picking out romantic partners. Dating someone is just like picking out a parakeet from the pet store. What? You should always look for a bird that's friendly and getting along with the others. And, uh, that's all I got. Well, it was nice meeting you anyway. <laughs> okay. Spottable bus for snips and snails. Flim flam. Anything else? Okay. He had it after all. I was impressed. All right. I want someone to tell me what they were actually saying, please. It did indeed. <sighs> I forgot how long these took. Oh. All done. Now, this is the part of me that's going to debate whether or not I keep doing this in groups, because that's how I've been doing it. Just like two, three episodes at a time. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'll just tackle it two episodes at a time, but I'll record multiple sessions, you know, all at once. So, oh, it's going to be the last episode of the day, unless you guys tell me you want me to do otherwise, so... Let's just get started. Episode 5. 3, 2, 1, go. My little ponies, my little ponies. Ah, uh, okay, let's keep this part. It is not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> what shall happen today? Everyone, listen. So I'm sad that most of you are probably too stupid to realize this. Yikes. But there's a giant black cloud of smoke that's going to cover the entire town. There it is, right behind you, where I'm sure that none of you were looking. The smoke is being caused by a dragon. And Celestia has asked me to gather up my, and I quote, weedy little friend so I can Aww. go take care of it. Now I know that some of you are probably wondering, how is Twilight and her little friends possibly going to stand up to a full-grown dragon? And I want you all to know that if I don't come back, it's because I gave up. Aww. I probably skipped town because I don't care about you, and I want you all to know that. Yikes. I feel like the other thing that you guys should all probably know is that we're all gonna die and I don't have any faith in you. I understand how you feel. I don't have any faith in them either. Well, I think we'd be fine without Applejack. No, Applejack's gonna carry our stuff. I well, think I'm just Applejack the best of friends. Oh my god, when we get back from this, we are so getting laid. But I already get laid frequently. <laughs> There's basically no real incentive for us to risk our lives like this. Rainbow Dash, you're the fastest, so my plan is for you to fly down the dragon's throat and choke it to death. Nice. All right, everyone, get lost. I'll meet you all back here in an hour. 
This is going to be a long and difficult journey with no real reward at the end, but at least you'll all die knowing that you were remotely good for something. First up, we got Applejack's Apple's Apple. Earth Pony daughter of the Apple family brought along to carry our stuff. Ooh, doggy, let's have a barbecue. Next up, we have Pink Amina Diane Pie, recently paroled from house arrest and unable to oh. be left alone without supervision. How many ponies does it take to screw in a light bulb? One! The other ponies are unnecessary! Then, of course, we've got Rarity, a.k.a. Bootylicious. Brought along purely because the government said she had to go and for no other reason. They don't call it a high-class escort for nothing. And finally, we got Rainbow Dash herself for slapstick comic relief and a suicide attack. Oh, man, can I change mine? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get this debacle in motion. You forgot me. Oh, yeah. And, of course, we've also got, uh, uh, yellow one. Buttershot, darling. <laughs> Well, how am I supposed to remember the names? Y'all remember mine just fine. Yeah, but yours is easy. But every pony in Ponyville has some kind of ridiculous name, like Car Wash Rug Muncher or something. Whoa. It always turns out that it has to do with their special talent, like they're some kind of lesbian car washing expert. Hey, do you think you could get Celestia to legally change my name? Who cares? Show of hopes. Who cares what Twilight thinks? Because I really want to be lesbian car washer. Can't we just get on with Martin to our death? <sighs> okay, fine. Let's have a look at the map that Celestia gave us. Oh, you have got to be kidding wow. me. Wow. I don't even think you can solve this maze. Oh well, looks like we're winging it. So does anyone know anything about climbing mountains? Because it may not be the dragon that kills us. I say we just climb. Otherwise, someone will just start bakering again. Well, I just realized we all have to go back. Why? We're barely even up the mountain. Because I just realized that I left my MP3 player alone with Gummy. And the last time I did that, he deleted all of my music and replaced it with bizarre pornography. Ah. Uh. Pet alligator did that? Nah, that was totally me. You! <laughs> well, the things I did to Gummy are only half of what I will do to you. No one can touch what did she do to Gummy? car wash. <laughs> Girls, I want to <laughs> shut up. Uh, hey, what, what are you doing with that? Now I'm going to use it as toilet paper. No, oh, fair enough. Hey, I have to go too. Okay, does anyone else need a break? No. No! Okay, then we're going to carry on to the stopping point. You two just catch up. I win again. Who cares? We're just gonna be burned alive anyway. Yeah. Oh. Every victory over a filthy unicorn. Pinky, do you ever worry about being monodimensional? Not really. Why do you ask? Because staring death in the face has made me think about things, and I realize that I've been a little monodimensional. Sex with this, sex with that, but I really feel like I should have slept with more boys. Different kinds of boys, I mean. Maybe even some girls, just for the heck of it. It's good you know, to have just diversity. To be less monodimensional. <laughs> you and I live in completely different worlds. I don't know why I bother opening up to you. I'm still mad you won't help me change my name. Hey, y'all, I made it. We had a bit of a bathroom accident and Fluttershy hit her head, so I just picked her up and dragged her all this way on her back. I'm not a doctor, but come to think of it now, that probably didn't do her any favors. Yo. Oh. Come on, or we'll leave you behind. Hmm. Actually, just kidding. Celestia said I gotta take all you guys, and we've gotta obey Celestia's orders. If you don't, she'll shove a thing in your butt. And I forget what it's Ugh. called, but trust me, you don't want it in there. Oh, God. But I don't want a thing shoved in my butt. Well, good oh, thing, go. I just said that. I don't want a thing shoved in my butt either, so just hurry up and jump. No one's gonna put anything in your butt. Maybe your brother. Shut up. You know, Celestia used to threaten me with that butt thing all the time when I was little. They had a oh, little dear. Much, honey bunch. You're telling me. I used to have nightmares about it. You know, she actually once showed me how it works. On a live oh. pony, I kid you not, there was blood everywhere. Celestia. Who shows that kind of thing to a child? I would show that to a child. I think it builds character. Yes. I will force it's even thing more proof. Even I won't more proof that this is horribly is wrong. Bird? bird is the word. Don't you know about oh, the bird? Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> This is why I don't tell you guys about myself. Can we please talk about something else? No! If you don't jump that ravine right now, I'm gonna tell you about the time that Celestia made me smother her pet bird to death. Bird, oh bird, god. Bird, bird is the word. <laughs> she took me into a room and she handed me a pillow. No, no, I don't want to hear this. And then she made me hold it over her pet bird's face until it burst into flames and turned into ashes. And then Celestia, she leans right down next to me and she whispers into my ear, I guess you owe me now. And oh. then, and then there was the time. Stop, <laughs> this is scaring me. Scaring you? And then, I used to have this little toy named Mrs. Buzzy. She was what? a stuffed bumblebee. What? And one day when I was oh. having a tea party, Celestia came, and she pulled out all of Mrs. Buzzy's stuffing, and she filled her full of sliced bread, and she said, there, Mrs. Buzzy isn't real. And no. then, she told me to write a 300-page essay explaining what that proved, and I didn't know. <laughs> hey, did we pack any scotch, or whiskey, or paint thinner? 
Oh, Darling, dear I would God. do just about anything if you could hop over here right now. Yeah, please do. <laughs> so how soon before I fly down this dragon's throat? Depends on how long it takes you to work up the courage. Ah, oh, man. All right, looks like your time is up. Now remember, when you get lodged down in there, try to turn yourself sideways so he can't cough you back up. No way, I'm not gonna die as Rainbow Dash. Well, what do you mean? This is exactly why... Uh, wait. Are you still talking about your name? Yeah, yeah, man, I mean, come on, I'm gonna die for Equestria. Just have Celestia change my name this one time. Why are you so fixated on being lesbian car washer? Because well, it's an awesome want to wash cars in Lesbia? For Pete's sake, seriously, her brain is this big. Wait, let me get this straight. You think Lesbia is a place? Twilight. Yeah, ponies always think I'm from there. From there. Well, yeah, isn't it like a tropical island? Okay, but I thought you and Gilda were, you know. Twilight! Yeah, Gilda was always trying to explain to me where it was. She. Yeah, she was always on about how it's in your heart or something that you feel. Right, he's getting you know, really like fed up. Pride or whatever. Twilight, listen, darling. Her brain, this big. Yeah, seriously? Let me guess, it's not really a tropical island. It isn't. So, is she or is she not from, you know, lesbian? Oh, I don't know that. I don't I'm think even she knows. Well, I don't want to change my name anymore if lesbia isn't a nice place to live. Stop. Good. Then are you ready to die for the cause? Okay. Perfect. Then I'm going to go on ahead and try to lure that thing out here. The minute that thing rears its ugly head, you fly straight down its windpipe. I want you all to know that if we don't... Shut up. So hey, Mr. Dragon, I've got this just delicious friend outside, and I hear she would just love to be eaten alive. She tastes like candy. She tastes like Skittles. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey there. So like I was saying, my friend, you should totally eat her. Because, you know, she's like high in protein. The thing is that I learned today that if you replaced all my friends with sliced bread, I'd still probably be miserable for some other reason. Oh. So if you could please find it in your heart to eat Rainbow Dash and then go away, then I'll probably be allowed to continue living without having a thing shoved in my butt. And I would really <laughs> like that. Hello? Are you listening? And Don't that is why Twilight me. will never be late. Fun. Damn it! My plan sucked more than rarity. Oh, darling. And here, I thought we were getting along so well for this trip. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I am gonna make that thing eat me. <laughs> you go get him, killer. Hey! <laughs> this is totally lame. I taste great. I don't know what that dragon's freaking problem is. Well, what we need... Maybe he's vegetarian. ...to make Rainbow Dash more appealing to this dragon. <laughs> I have a better plan. I am going to wear a box. And the box is full of poison lobsters. Twilight, can't you just use your magic powers to put the dragon to sleep, levitate it off a cliff, and then drop it on some sharp rocks? No. That's stupid. If it weren't, I would have thought of that. Okay, Pinkie Pie is going in for the kill. Best reasoning no, ever. My box is full of poison lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> that filthy dragon has been made no more. No way. You mean you got it? Ah, <laughs> yes. Well then, okay. The internet. Someone enlighten me on that. <sighs> okay. Two more episodes down. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> um, yeah. So there we go. There, there, there's another two episodes for you guys. I don't know how many. I, I'm pretty sure for a while I'm gonna be able to do a very consistent one upload a day 
type of thing, and I'm very proud of that, and I want to keep that going as long as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, and I, I want to see how long I can do that, and hopefully it can last for more than a day. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end here because I'm actually, I'm gonna close my curtains. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'll play with you guys. I'll play with you guys later.